It might seem like the ground beneath your feet is still, but you may be surprised to know that it is moving in many ways. Planet Earth has several layers. The top layer is called the crust. Earth's crust is made up of huge sections. These sections are called tectonic plates. This map shows the basic sizes and locations of Earth's plates. Do you notice anything interesting about their sizes and shapes? The tectonic plates sit on top of another, much thicker layer of Earth. Some parts of this layer are less solid, which means they are able to move. As the layer beneath the crust moves, the tectonic plates slowly shift. Tectonic plates shift in several ways. Some are pushed together. Others are pulled apart. They can also slide against one another. When plates push and slide against each other, they create a lot of energy. The force gets so strong that it can cause Earth's crust to break. These breaks in Earth's crust are called faults. Faults can be very tiny or quite large. Here are some examples of some of the largest fault lines. The San Andreas Fault is located in California. It is hundreds of miles long. The North Anatolian Fault, which is in Turkey, is another huge fault line. These faults are so big that they can be seen from space. Earthquakes form along fault lines. The energy from the plate movement travels through the ground, causing it to shake. This shaking is an earthquake. Most earthquakes are very quick, lasting for less than a minute. Earth experiences hundreds of thousands of earthquakes each year but only about one in five can be felt. Fortunately, very few earthquakes cause damage. Most of the world's earthquakes happen in this area, along the edge of the Pacific Ocean. This happens to be the edge of a few tectonic plates. Notice that this area is shaped like a circle. It is nicknamed the Ring of Fire because there are many volcanoes here. In the United States, most earthquakes happen in Alaska and California, which are both located within the Ring of Fire. Many earthquakes also happen beneath the oceans since the edges of some tectonic plates are found there. Earthquakes that happen in oceans can sometimes cause tsunamis to form. Tsunamis are very long, high sea waves. Earthquakes can be frightening, but they are a natural part of Earth's activity. Scientists have learned a lot about earthquakes and continue studying them to learn even more.